Hi, I'm Genevieve Janu, and I'm a senior at St. Mary's Catholic High School in Phoenix, Arizona, and this is my Gregorian Fellows Leadership Application for Benedictine College. I believe the three most important characteristics of a leader are prudence, integrity, and courage. A leader must be prudent in order to discern the true good in a difficult situation and the correct means to attain it. They must be able to judge the best and most effective way to lead in different situations. A leader must have integrity in order to love and respect all those they lead and in turn be respected by others. Integrity shows that you are honest and have good morals, which displays that you are a reliable and humble leader. Lastly, a leader must have the courage to speak the truth and pursue goods that might be difficult to attain. It takes perseverance to build the virtues and skills necessary to be an excellent leader, and it takes courage to be a Catholic leader in this world. Throughout the last three years, I have been a youth leader with the St. Simon and Jude Cathedral Parish Sacraments program. I work directly with a small group of 7th and 8th graders, or I lead a station at the sacraments retreats. As a youth leader, I get to work directly with these young teens and help them to learn and understand the Catholic faith. Throughout the many months we work with them, I get to grow in a personal relationship with them, and I get to watch their faith deepen. It is a beautiful experience to see these young teens come into the program with no knowledge of Catholicism and leave with a flourishing faith as they receive their sacraments. This leadership opportunity has taught me to deepen my love for others and has taught me how to integrate my faith into my leadership. A leader I would like to emulate is Eleanor Dashwood from the classic novel and film Sense and Sensibility. In times of family adversity, Eleanor puts her mother and her sister's needs before her own. She is prudent and helps her mother with her difficult living situations. Eleanor is selfless even in the face of her own heartbreak, and she comforts her younger sister Marianne when her heart is broken as well. Eleanor helps Marianne to see that she is better off without the man who broke her heart, and that Marianne can find true love elsewhere. Instead of turning her thoughts and actions inward, Eleanor dies to herself and serves her family and friends first. She is a true example of selflessness and courageousness. I wish to emulate Eleanor in her ability to put others first and to discern the true good in a difficult situation. She respects and loves others, even if she is not respected and loved in return. And she is always willing and ready to serve when the opportunity presents itself. Thank you for watching my video and considering me for the Gregorian Fellows Leadership Program. Have a nice day.